you really know the impact of graphic design in your society? Have you ever walked on the road and see posters like this? These are posters showing adverts of different business brands. Or have you gone to a restaurant and see something like this? All these are done by graphic designers and printers. Think about the campaign posters, business banners and business packaging. They are equally done by graphic designers. Now, what is graphic design? Graphic design is a form of visual communication using illustration, typography and photographs, which means any design that does not contain any of these three as mentioned above. It is not a graphic design. All graphic designs are made to solve a problem and must communicate effectively. If your design does not help solve a problem or communicate effectively, then your design is not effective. What is the role of graphic design? It's more than simply being artistic. It communicates a message effectively. What do you need in order to become a graphic designer? In this course, you will need Corel Draw and Adobe Photoshop. However, other design softwares are Adobe Illustrator and Adobe InDesign. As time goes on, you will need to learn these ones. Now, talking about Corel Draw. Corel Draw is a vector-based program. It helps to create digital illustrations. As its name implies, Corel Draw, it helps to draw graphic designs. Corel Draw saves small file size. Now, Photoshop is also a good design software. Adobe Photoshop is a photo manipulation and photo retouching program. Photoshop creates raster images containing pixels. Now, taking this graphic design training, you should know all graphic design career. Maybe from here you will know the career you are good at. There are different graphic design careers. We have advertising designer, environmental designer, publication designer, motion designer, corporate designer, web designer and packaging designer. Now, let's talk about advertising designer. Advertising designers create social media ads, billboard adverts, and business advert flyers. An environmental designer, his job is to create exhibition and event spaces, design moral artwork, signage, and office branding. And how about the publication designer? They produce books, design e-publications, magazine and newspapers, catalogs and menu designs. The motion designer does TV adverts, movie intros, text animation, apps and video games. And the corporate designer creates brands for companies. They design logos, business cards, letterhead, and stationary designs. Web designers design websites and mobile array. And the packaging designer, which is one of the best and lucrative graphic design career. I'm really in love with it. Their work is 
to design canned foods, wraps, or labels. Most times you buy a biscuit, you see the package of the biscuit. The design of the biscuit is done by a packaging designer. Any print done on a package, the design is done by a, a packaging designer. Now, we have the five most important rules of graphic design. Rule number one. Use only two typefaces. One interesting related typeface for heading and the second should be transparent. Rule number two. Don't fill empty spaces. Make your empty space part of your design. It helps create emphasis. Rule number three. Don't wrap your images. Use shift key if you are using Photoshop to avoid distortion. And if you are using Corel Draw, don't click on the sides to drag. Click on the edges to reduce or enlarge your image to avoid distortion. Rule number four, pixelation. This has to do with low quality images. Use an alternative high quality image instead. As a designer, don't use low quality images. Try all your best to use high quality images for your design. At the end of this course, I'm going to recommend different websites where you can get high quality images. Rule number five, contrast is key. Create contrast through size. Create contrast through color or both. This is to say, for you to make an effective design, all the sizes of your element must be interesting and the colors you use must be eye catchy. These are the five rules which you must not forget. Take these five rules into your five fingertips and never forget it. And I'm going to give you one tip you should go home with today. Write this down. Break the rules if you know them. The five rules I'm giving to you says you can break them if only you know them very well.